Hi, my name is Peter Steinberg, and I'm a urologist at Beth Israel Deaconess Medical Center here in Boston. I wanted to talk to you briefly about removing a ureteral stent. Some of you are seeing me today to have a stent removed after kidney stone surgery, which I performed on you. Others of you I have not met before, and we're gonna be removing a stent after a kidney transplant. And for those of you, hopefully everything's going well with your new kidney. Finally, some of you might have a stent placed for some other reason, such as an injury or during another type of surgery. Removing the stent is a procedure that takes about 60 seconds where we put a small lighted camera in the hole you urinate through, into the bladder, grab the stent, and remove it. Most people rate this somewhere between a two to three out of 10 on the pain scale, and it often feels like you need to urinate during the procedure. There are a couple things you need to know about preparation for the procedure and then some risks and what to look for afterwards. All of you are gonna get an antibiotic pill to take beforehand. This may have been prescribed to you when you left the hospital. If not, we're gonna give you an antibiotic pill today to take by mouth. That's gonna help prevent a urinary tract infection. For the procedure, you're gonna be lying flat on your back. We'll clean your genitals up with antiseptic soap and then we'll place a numbing gel either on the scope or in men in the tip of the hole you pee through into the bladder to help with the procedure. That gel does often burn, especially in men, but makes the procedure more comfortable. We'll then put a small lighted flexible scope into the bladder. You should watch up on the video monitor while we're doing this because it will actually make you much more comfortable during the procedure and you can see what we're doing. We'll go into your bladder with a scope, grab the stent and remove it. There are a few things to look for afterwards. First off, we're probably gonna fill your bladder with fluid during the procedure, so you should be able to urinate as soon as we're done. You may have some burning when that happens, but if you feel fine, you're probably gonna do well the rest of the day. Everyone can get blood in the urine afterwards. That can often last up to a couple of days. As long as it's not heavy and filled with lots of clots, that's really not a big deal. Obviously, if you get a fever afterwards, call the urology team right away. If you're a urology patient, and if you're a kidney transplant patient, call the kidney transplant team right away. Finally, those of you who had your stent placed during a kidney stone surgery, one out of about every five people who has a stent removed gets some sudden pain in the side the stent was in. Uh, sometimes later in the day, they can last five or 10 minutes. That's often from little clots of blood or fragments of stone coming down into the bladder that will usually go away. If that pain is persistent or you're vomiting, please give us a call right away at 617-667-7000 and ask to speak to the on-call urologist. Best of luck and uh, good luck with the procedure. And I look forward to seeing you later this morning.